सेवन एंड हाफ सेंट फुवार दे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम व्हाट हैपेंस इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग What have you done? It's not working. Uh, it will be explained by uh, Simiris Marjan about ammonia. But I'm confused. What have you done? It's not working. Is it? Is touch has gone or what? Earlier we were using touch. Now it is. That means. ओके व्हाट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट इट्स वंडरफुल राइट वेयर ऑन एनीथिंग माउस तो नमस्कार चैप्टर जैसेस द फर्स्ट वन इज अमोनिया सो द मोलिकुलर फॉर्म ऑफ अमोनिया इज एन एस थ्री एंड द मोलिकुलर वेट इज सेवेंटीन ए एम यू इट इज द मोलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अमोनिया इट इज मिक्स विद थ्री हाइड्रोजन एयर एंड अमोनिया इज कंपाउंड गैस इट्स वन मोलिकुल इज फॉर्म बाई वन एटम ऑफ Formed by nitrogen exchange is three electrons with three hydrogen atoms. When a finely crushed uh, mixture of dry solid ammonium chloride and calcium chloride is heated in the ratio of two is to one, they react with each other to release ammonium gas. Here is the equation of this. And here are some requirements. So first is apparatus, glass tube, stand and clamp, once in burner or delivery tube, a lamp, a tower, a gas jar and cox. Chemical is here ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, calcium hydroxide. And the procedure is a mixture of ammonium chloride and slick, lime two is to one. And the hard glass case is clamped on a stand in an inclined position. A delivery tube is fitted in a cork that is attached in the test tube. Then the free end of the delivery tube is taken in a line uh, tower filled with quick lime. Now the delivery tube is taken in inverted uh, dry gas jar as shown in this figure. Here is the figure of this laboratory preparation of ammonium gas. There are some precautions. The apparatus must be made uh, airtight, and the hard glass tube should be fixed in the inclined position. Uh, the gas jar should be dried, and the product should be passed through a lime water before its collection uh, in the gas jar. Quick lime fusion in a tower absorbs the moisture. So here is how to test um, uh, that is ammonium gas. So first, a moist red litmus paper when inserted in the jar containing ammonium gas turns. into blue and it forms white film of nsl when a glass rod ripped in conch sl is taken in the glass it can be identified by its pungent spray also so next one is manufacture of ammonia temperature of around 500 degrees celsius should be maintained and high pressure of about 200 to 900 atmosphere should be maintained finely divided iron is used as a catalyst Traces of uh, molybdenum (MO) are used as a promoter, which helps the catalyst to function better. Next one is your properties. So here is two properties. One is physical and chemical. So first, physical properties. It is a colorless gas with a pungent smell. It brings tears to our eyes, and it is highly soluble in water. Also, it is lighter than air. Also, and it liquefies at minus thirty-three point four degrees Celsius and solidifies as Minus 78 degrees Celsius. It is neither combustible nor a supporter of combustible. It is basically inert because it turns 
moisturizes uh, litmus paper into blue and there are some chemical properties of ammonium gas ammonium gas reacts with hydrogen chloride to form solid particles of ammonium chloride ns3 plus hcl equals to ns4cl and it reacts with hcl to form salt also and it dissolves with water to form weak alkalis called ammonium hydroxide and the next one is ammonium dissolves in water to form ammonium hydroxide which reacts with acid to form neutral compound salt and water and the nitrogenous fertilizer urea is prepared by this method also with co2 gas at about 1500 degrees celsius under uh, certain pressures so ammonium uh, reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen gas also so there is uses of ammonia ammonia is used in the manufacture of chemical fertilizers such as ammonium sulfate, ammonium phosphate, urea, or fertilizer, etc. It is used as cleansing agent for removing oils and grease. It is used in manufacture of nitric acids and certain dyes, explosive plastics, rayon, washing soda, etc. Its salts such as ammonium chloride, ammonium carbonate, etc. are used as medicines also. Its solution is used as a laboratory reagent. It is used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate or washing soda, soda also. So thank you. Thank you very much. So, children, we have started new topic. What is that? Some gases, right? Last time we discussed about uh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is acidic in nature. Acidic in nature. That means when it reacts with acid, uh, sorry, water, it forms weak acid like CO2 plus H2O. No, H2 only. CO2 plus H2O it gives rise to H2CO3 this is carbonic acid carbonic acid I'm talking about carbon dioxide and when carbon dioxide is cooled below minus 78 degrees centigrade it changes into ice right what is the name of that dry ice such things we have discussed usage discussed next thing carbon dioxide is heavier than air that's why it is collected by upward displacement of air. We don't use water. If this is gas that, so delivery tube brings carbon dioxide here and air goes upward because carbon dioxide is 1.5 times heavier than air. It was discussed, right? Now children, uh, we are going to discuss uh, about ammonia. Which gas? Ammonia. Ammonia. When we talk about ammonia, what is the molecular formula? N H three. This means there is covalent bond. This is nitrogen. This side hydrogen. This is nitrogen. This side hydrogen. This side hydrogen. Three atoms of hydrogen are connected with one atom of nitrogen. So NH3 molecular weight is 17. How 17? NH3 means N plus H plus H plus H. H3 means three hydrogens are here. So how many, what is the atomic weight of nitrogen? 14. Hydrogen 1, 1, 1. When you add, add how much does it come? 17 AMU atomic mass unit, right? In that way, you have to keep in mind. Now, now it's totally working. See, okay, he has already drawn here. So, what type of bond is here? Here is sharing of electrons. One pair of electrons are shared, one pair of electrons are shared, one pair of electrons are shared. So, this is covalent bond. What is this? Covalent bond. It can be written like this also. N covalent bond with hydrogen and hydrogen and hydrogen right sharing of electrons uh, <clears throat> how is ammonia prepared in the lab in lab very less quantity is produced so for that we need ammonium chloride what is this um, NH4Cl ammonium chloride plus calcium hydroxide ammonium chloride 
and calcium hydroxide when they are kept together and heated then the re the products are calcium chloride plus water and ammonia gas this basically if it is gas then we show here arrow up arrow up arrow means gas right so balancing is already done here is 2 h2o and here 2 nh4 cl and 2 nh3 so chemical reaction must be balanced okay ah uh, so here is given apparatus if that means what type of vessels are required glass test tube hard glass test tube clamp to hold it bunsen burner to heat it delivery tube to carry gas from one vessel to another one and the lime tower and gas jar now let's see here the diagram diagram will be seen here eh? Yes, it's not open. I think it's open here. Diagram is given here. This diagram we have to remember. Lab preparation of ammonia, so type of diagram can be asked. So what is needed? Here is one test tube. Its name is hard glass test tube. It doesn't melt at low temperature. It is kept in slanted position, not horizontally, a bit slanted. Because sometimes water vapor may condense and water may be formed. And due to formation of water, this portion may crack. So to prevent from cracking, it is kept in slanted position. So what type of mixture is kept here? Ammonium chloride, what is name? And calcium hydroxide. What are the products from? Yes. Calcium chloride, water and ammonia. So ammonia gas and water they pass from here. When water reaches in this portion, it reacts with calcium oxide. This this vessel is called lime tower. Lime tower means what is kept here? calcium oxide when water reaches here then calcium oxide reacts with water and it forms calcium hydroxide what is formed yes. calcium hydroxide and when water is absorbed by it then what is collected here ammonia, ammonia gas so how is ammonia gas collected it pushes air downward that's why we can say ammonia is collected by displacing air downward it pushes air down and remains up it means ammonia is heavier than air or lighter than air lighter than air that is goes up but question arises why don't we use air water for collection of carbon dioxide so you didn't use water because carbon dioxide is highly soluble in water right in the same way Water is not used here. Why? Because ammonia is also highly soluble in water. Dissolves in water and what does it form? Ammonium hydroxide. What is produced? Ammonium hydroxide. Because of that, it's like that. Okay? These diagrams must be done very carefully. So lab preparation is over. Um, already done very lovely diagram of lab preparation of ammonia, ammonia gas, lime tower. Why do we use lime tower? To absorb water and get dry ammonia. 
to absorb water and get dry ammonia. Now, while preparing ammonia gas, we have to follow some rules and regulations. What are they? Number one, apparatus must be airtight, otherwise hover tight. Gas will not be collected in the gas there, it goes out. First airtight, otherwise hover tight. Point number two, hard glass test tube should be fixed in an inclined position. Okay, towards his mouth, inclined position. If it is kept in vertically, means horizontal position, then water vapor may change into water and it may get cracked. Right? Because of, uh, sometimes what will happen, if you keep uh, water in hot bodies, it may break. And then, uh, heat should be provided uniformly, regularly. Gas jar should be dry. If not dry, then what will happen? Ammonia reacts with water. If it is wet, then ammonia reacts with water. And what does it form? Ammonium hydroxide. Okay. And product should be passed through a line tower to absorb water or to make ammonia dry. Precautions, you remember? And things to remember or how to test. How to test whether the gas produces ammonia or not? How many techniques are there? Three. What is the first one? Moist rail litmus paper changes into moist means some water must be added there because there is formation of ammonium hydroxide. When there is water, ammonia forms ammonium hydroxide. It is a base. Base turns rail litmus paper into Blue color, this is one. Second one, uh, when a glass rod, this glass rod contains some HCl. The glass rod which is dipped in HCl, if it is kept in the gas jar, where is, there is NH3, then what is formed? NH4Cl, ammonium chloride is formed and this is white fume. What is the color? White. Or ammonia gas can be identified by its smell. Very irritating type of smell is there. Smell is not good. Pungent smell. Okay? Unpleasant smell. <sighs> Manufacture. Manufacture means production in large quantity. So Ammonia gas is produced in large quantity by one method that is called Haber's process. What is it? Haber's process. Why? Because scientist named Haber, he gave the idea. Right? And what idea he gave? We have to take uh, nitrogen gas. Which gas is to be taken? Nitrogen and hydrogen under a special condition nitrogen and hydrogen they react together what are the special conditions 200 to 900 atm atmospheric pressure we have to apply more pressure how much 200 to 900 atm condition eh? these are the conditions required for this chemical reaction pressure is required Temperature how much? 500 degrees. 500 degrees centigrade and Fe catalyst, Fe catalyst, MO promoter. Oh my god. Under these conditions, which gas is produced? So, one part nitrogen. Three part hydrogen, like one kg nitrogen and three kg, they are mixed together in a container, closed container. Then heated at how much degree centigrade? Five degree centigrade. And pressure should be supplied 200 to 900. Iron should be used as catalyst, and molybdenum should be used as promoter. Catalyst 
it alters the rate of reaction promoter it activates the catalyst its main duty is to make it active and when it is active reaction will be changed so what is promoter it is a chemical substance which activates the catalyst catalyst is the substance chemical substance which either increases or decreases the rate of chemical reaction so what are the conditions required for this reaction atmospheric pressure temperature catalyst and promoter special thing right then what is produced ammonia gas this method is called haber's process what do you call it haber's process because it was uh launched for the first time or shown by the scientist named haber and by this process we can produce large amount of ammonia gas in factory lab preparation is different you remember the formula n is for cl plus caoh equal to n h3 plus h2o plus cacl2 by this method less quantity of ammonia is produced but when the second method is applied large quantity of ammonia is produced okay so children now remaining portion chemical properties physical properties and usage will be discussed in next period and i think uh, we have got next presenter who is next yeah bian stan and today i have to give duty to prepare the slide uh, who are absent right Okay this much right now okay thank you especially we discuss about the haber's process in haber's process nitrogen and hydrogen are taken in the ratio of 1 is to 3 one part nitrogen three part hydrogen they are kept in a container and special conditions are supplied for the special conditions 500 degree centigrade 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure iron as catalyst molybdenum as promoter catalyst alters the rate of chemical reaction especially it increases the rate products are formed faster reactants lose their concentration quickly and promoter's duty is to activate the catalyst just remember this thing some never will happen question comes in the examination and we read the question question is very easy answer becomes very tough one right it doesn't become very easy one then how to solve that's why right. set in mind now <coughs> remaining portion will discuss in afterwards is the turn of bn okay then we will be ready physical properties and chemical properties of ammonia gas ammonia gas right so what are the physical properties you first check check here it is colorless gas but it has pungent smell irritating smell by its smell we can identify whether it is ammonia gas or not by smell only we find out right by smell we can find out whether it is scent or fat yes sir fat so so scent right and here is even when you inhale then it brings tears to our eyes i could remember uh, when there is to be nose blockade and one homeopathic medicine is given once you take it Inhale once, then it may reach up to some part of brain, and tear comes. This ammonia gas is also like that. But it is poisonous. You should not inhale like that. A uh, highly soluble in water, dissolves in water quickly, so it cannot be collected over water. Lighter than air, so it is collected by downward displacement of air. Its melting point. Uh, boiling point is minus thirty three point four degrees centigrade, and melting point is minus seventy eight degrees centigrade. At minus seventy eight degrees centigrade, it changes into 
solid at minus 33.4 degree centigrade it changes into liquid below right understand that it is neither combustible it does not burn and it does not help in burning neither combustible nor supporter of combustion and it is basic in nature in basic in nature it shows the properties of base one example i gave suppose this is blue uh, moist red litmus paper right what is it if it is moist red litmus paper just bring it near to which gas ammonia gas it changes into <coughs> blue color because ammonia reacts with water and forms ammonium hydroxide what is the name so ammonium hydroxide is a base base converts or changes red litmus paper into blue in color understood so basic in nature a chemical properties you can see in chemical properties some balanced chemical equations how many chemical properties are given here six what is the first one reacts with hydrogen chloride ammonia what is the molecular formula nh3 hydrogen chloride hcl what does it form ammonium chloride question can be asked sometimes how are ammonium chloride made how are ammonium chloride made so example uh, react answer is ammonium chloride is made by reacting ammonia and hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid ammonia nh3 hydrochloric acid hcl ammonium chloride nh4cl ammonium chloride is a kind of fertilizer chemical fertilizer it is rich in nitrogen plants need basically three elements and begin nitrogen phosphorus and potassium what are the chemical properties reacts with acids and forms salts ammonia is nh3 here h2so4 sulfuric acid ammonia plus sulfuric acid gives ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate ammonia plus nitrate uh, hydrogen nitrate or nitric acid what is name it gives ammonium nitrate and ammonia plus hydrochloric acid this is also acid gives ammonium chloride these all are salts what are they salts third point what is here it dissolves in water to form weak alkali called ammonium hydroxide see ammonia reacts with water what does it form ammonium hydroxide ammonia plus water ammonium hydroxide okay next one ammonia dissolves in water to form ammonium hydroxide which reacts with acid yeah so when ammonia dissolves in water it forms ammonium hydroxide right ammonium hydroxide reacts with acid and forms salt and water this is ammonia solution nh4oh is called ammonia solution why ammonia is dissolved in water so ammonia solution nh4oh reacts with hydrochloric acid salt nh4cl and water as well NH4OH ammonium hydroxide plus nitric acid gives ammonium nitrate plus water okay so ammonia reacts with acids from salts ammonia dissolves in water and forms weak acid the weak base that weak base reacts with acid and form what is it form salt and water so these are acid base reaction what are they acid base reaction why are they acid base reaction 
because incident base react together right the next one when ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide or when the mixture of ammonia and carbon dioxide are heated at how much degree centigrade 1500 degree centigrade then what is formed urea in chemical properties of carbon dioxide as we have discussed them carbon dioxide plus ammonia they react together at how much degree centigrade then what is formed urea and water in the last one is ammonia reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen gas ammonia nh3 plus oxygen o2 nitrogen plus water as to balancing is very important these are the six chemical properties reaction with acids reaction with hydrochloric acid reaction with water reaction between ammonia solution this is ammonia solution and acid formation of urea question can be asked how is urea manufactured what is the question how is urea manufactured so urea is manufactured by the reaction between carbon dioxide or by heating the mixture of carbon dioxide and ammonia at how much degree centigrade fifteen degree centigrade ammonia reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen gas six chemical properties finally what is that uses of ammonia where are ammonia used number one ammonia is used to manufacture chemical fertilizer what are the chemical fertilizers ammonium sulfate ammonium phosphate urea etc from ammonia ammonium sulfate can be made from ammonia ammonium nitrate can be made from ammonia urea can be prepared these are chemical fertilizers so ammonia is used to prepare chemical fertilizer what is second point it is used as a cleansing agent to remove the oils and grease like to remove some stains we use soap or detergent powder but if there is oil and grease that can be removed easily by using ammonia it is used to manufacture nitric acid nitric acid uh, <coughs> nitric acid it is h m o 3 i think is here certain dyes certain colors yes or no different type of colors asian paint say eh? see the colors different colors are there right? explosive plastic rayon rayon it is a kind of thread fiber which is used for making ties or sarees or cloth fabrics etc and washing soda its salts such as ammonium chloride ammonium carbonate are used as medicine for medicine purpose also ammonia ammonium salts are used and it is its solution is used as laboratory reagent laboratory reagent means to carry out various tests or experiments solution can be used so ammonia solution what is that ammonium hydroxide so ammonium hydroxide is used in lab to carry out various experiments laboratory reagent what is the last one used in the manufacture of sodium carbonate or washing soda washing soda. these are the things okay so two gases mainly we have discussed what are they carbon dioxide and ammonia gas so you must not forget to write the chemical reaction that takes place in lab preparation of ammonia gas manufacture of ammonia gas precautions test physical property chemical property and usage right so basically you have to pay full attention to our study jana understood it okay i'm feeling very lazy cold is increasing 
झुप 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 दट वेरी बैड है Now let's welcome on the stage our next presenter, Bian Malami. You can give one salami. Oh, pause it. Did you pause? Yeah. This is okay. Eh? Just rotating here, 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 here. Hello, Ni. Sorry. Listen. Guru. 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 Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide are released uh, into the atmosphere and react with wa uh, water, oxygen, and other chemical to form sulfuric and nitric acid. This acid can <coughs> then fall to the ground as rain, snow, or hail. Some cause of acid rain. There are two uh, cause of acid rain: natural source and human activities. Natural source such as vol uh, volcanoes are a natural source of SO2 and NOx. Uh, human activities: burning fossil fuels, manufacturing. Uh, oils and electricity generator and vehicles are all the main activities that release SO2 and NOx into the atmosphere. Uh, the burning of fossil fuels to generate electricity is the major source of SO2 and NOx in the atmosphere. And some Im impact of acid rain. It's uh, it mainly harms to the trees, aquatic life, soil, uh, buildings, ground water, biodiversity, and human health. Trees uh, acid rain can damage the <coughs> layer on trees leaves, making it difficult of trees to absorb nutrition and minerals. And in uh, aquatic uh, life, uh, acid rain can make uh, <coughs> lake rivers and stream to acidic for some aquatic life to survive soil and acid rain can remove uh, nutrition and minerals from soil and can also lead ammonium into the soil and groundwater chemical from uh, acid rain can trickle into a gro groundwater and acid exceed five major waterways by the diversity acid can uh, acid rain can lower um, biodiversity in acid uh, human act, human health acid rain can pose a serious damage to the human beings thank you have a nice day you didn't download this one no you download no no animation direct dandanda uh, direct dandanda okay that is also okay chala ga nahi dode ga right <laughs> chapter 16 so we have hardly one month left to complete the course of class 10 then you are not going to learn any more chapters after completion 19 chapter and after passing sc if you join science then you have to read a bit thicker thicker books that's why whatever effort you are providing now for your study you have to make it five times in photography they use 5x 6x 10x i think 100x also it has come right um there i think samsung has got 100x or how much galaxy ultra 100x right other phones optimum we have seen 10x so your study also should be like that that's why you have to make your base right now onwards who knows from on from some strengths may top many more entrance exams and get the scholarship for that you have to try yourself okay that's why uh, punctuality it matters and time management if you are able to manage your time on time 
manage time on time, then nothing is impossible. Impossible becomes I am possible. So this acid rain is one uh, condition at which the rain falls together with acid. There is rainfall which contains some acids. Mainly what are acids are there? It contains H2CO3. There may be carbonic acid or HNO3, nitric acid or H2SO3, sulfonic acid or H2SO4, sulfuric acid. There will be down power. That means fall of rain along with acids like carbonic acid. What is its name? Carbonic acid. When carbon dioxide reaches in atmosphere, it reacts with this water and forms carbonic acid. And that carbonic acid may fall together with acid um, together with rain. Then is there presence of this acid or not? If the rain water contains carbonic acid, then we call that rain as acid rain. Suppose if there is presence of nitric acid, then that rain is also called acid rain. Sulfonic acid. What is it? S U L P H O N I C. Sulfonic acid. Next, this one. Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. So. Here is given type of acid deposition that occurs when sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, NOx it was mentioned, no? that nitrogen oxides. Mainly there are three different nitrogen oxides. NOx means oxides of nitrogen. One is N2O, nitrous oxide. What is its name? NO, nitric oxide. NO2, nitrogen dioxide. This is laughing gas. Yes. N2O, nitrous oxide is laughing gas. Yes. I think laughing gas yes must be provided to Viveki most of the time laughing and laughing. Always change in Susha condition, whatever, whatever. Oh, Viveki. Do you need laughing gas? Yes? Now also not speak. So, Nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, nitric oxide, and nitrogen dioxide. When such gases reach in atmosphere, they also react with water. And what do they form? Nitric acid. That nitric acid is actually acids are soluble in water or not? They mix with the droplets of water present in the atmosphere. It falls down. What is it called? Acid. acid rain. So, acid rain contains such type of acids as well. Right? So, those acids fall in the form of rain or snow or hail. Have you noticed hail? Asina? Sometimes there may be bigger size of hail, right? And if you are without a helmet, Two to go in head. I read last time there were such hell storms in Pokhara, one measuring up to 1.5 kg. And top of the buses were damaged because when it falls down from certain height, it has got more force. Yes, or no? Due to more force, it is striked. Sound again. What are the causes? Acid rain is caused by natural cause, natural source, or as well as by human activities also. So volcanic eruption takes place. And in the atmosphere there are <coughs> oxides of nitrogen. Because of that also acids are formed in atmosphere, acid rain occurs. But the main cause of uh, acid rain is human activities. In human activities, we use fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. 
mainly fossil fuel contains coal and what is that petroleum coal and petroleum when coal petroleum they burn especially they produce with gas carbon dioxide means or another gas sulfur dioxide right these gases react with water and what is formed either carbonic acid or sulf sulfuric acid or h2so3 or h2so4 so these acids fall together with rain <laughs> that is acid rain and there may be rain some other oxides of nitrogen also right so causes we discuss now impacts effects right what is there trees when there is acid rain some trees they may not survive in that acidic condition if you are provided every time too much salty food then you will have one disease that is high blood pressure those who take more salty food they suffer from high blood pressure or if you uh, start eating more oily food then your liver may damage yes or no so if there is acid rain trees may not survive easily uh aquatic life also they suffer a lot plants and animals can they grow easily in uh, salty water or in fresh water i had gone to visit this time in india in coastal areas also i didn't see any plants over there uh, then i just tasted the water too much salty really salty eh? if you like remember once you go and visit and taste okay i drink little bit why not well swimming it went inside and i tried to vomit but could not went inside water and the taste was really salty okay because i suffered from this uh, sore throat also isn't it and because of acid rain it can remove nutrients and minerals from the soil it will decrease the fertility and due to acid rain buildings are badly affected because acid rain contains acid the acid reacts with the chemicals present in the buildings they will be cracked makes very weak also and when acid rain enters inside the ground so it makes ground water also acidic and because of acid rain plants and animals number also will decrease and human health will be badly affected so what do you think acid rain is useful to us or harmful to us really harmful we need to play a vital role for minimizing the impacts of acid rain that's what there is one saying na rahegi bas not means if we don't use or if we don't create those sources to activate and there won't be acid rain right so nowadays you know most of the countries of the world they are focusing on uh eco friendly vehicles so those electric city cars buses like that so this time what did i do while going from kathmandu to birgan birgans to kathmandu i used uh, electric van okay it was very lovely it runs with the alva battery and in india i used train the trains are electric ones all indian trains are electric uh, uh, i don't know whether you have seen that trolley bus or not trolley yeah trolley bus there used to be trolley bus in kathmandu so yes the old one and the trolley bus used to be connected with some poles right all indian uh, trains are also connected with electric poles they do not produce any smoke just run that's very good so i think that type of things must be done right so it is discussed this much today and um 
Now, what to do? Oh, time has gone very fast, right? So read once again and then start pregnant.